in order to be able to restart the game, we want to do something very important here. We don't want the player to be able to restart the game. We want the game controller to be able to do that. Okay? Yes, the player could restart the game, but that's not a good practice. And even though we are making a small project, it is important to uh, think right of hierarchy and implement things the right and the right way. So let's do this very quickly. We go to the scripts folder right click and create a new C sharp script and this is going to be named game controller the same name as the game object that we made in the beginning of this course after it is done we select the game controller and attach the script to it okay you can drag and drop here or here in the inspector if you want whatever is better for you now we select the game controller and this game controller needs a reference to the player so we can just type here public player with an uppercase P and player with lowercase p. We do this because we want to know if the player is still holding the ball because if it isn't we're going to count down a few seconds and restart the scene. So for the player we have this holding ball variable that is private right now. There are other ways to access this but let's change this to public just to make sure this is going to be quick to use. Okay, And in the game controller we want to check that uh, variable here that holding ball we want to check if player dot holding ball equals so two equal signs to false if this happens it means we should count down and restart the scene so for how long are we going to wait I'm going to type here public float time to or better than this public float reset timer and I'm going to set it as 5f so there are going to be five seconds uh, between the player throwing the ball and the scene restarting. Okay, and here in the update method we type reset timer minus equals time dot delta time. I'm going to explain that soon enough. And if reset timer is less or equal than zero, then we're going to do something. So what's happening here? Time dot delta time is going to return how many seconds have passed since the last frame. As the update method is uh, it's executed on every frame of your game, then that means the reset timer is going to work as a countdown timer because this minus equals means we're going to take from the reset timer how many seconds have passed since the last frame. So this is basically going to make this last for five seconds. And if the reset timer reaches zero, it means it's time to restart the scene and try throwing another ball. Okay. So to restart the scene, we need to use a new namespace. We need to include a new namespace here. So we type using Unity Engine dot Scene Management, like this. And if reset timer is less or equal than zero, then we type Scene Manager dot Load Scene. And between parentheses, we type the scene name, which is simply going to be Game. If you gave another name to your scene, just use that name here. Okay, but we are using it. Uh, it is called game right now okay so we're going to save this let's make sure that we're going to drag the player into the game controller field that says player like this and also depending on the unity version you're using you might have a lighting issue once you restart the scene okay it only happens in the editor not in the final builds of the game but to solve this you can just go to window uh, choose lighting unmark this auto checkbox and press build you don't need to know the details of that right now. So basically unmark that, press build, and save the scene. Okay, now let's press the play button. We have the ball here. Let's try to make a, a score. And once I throw the ball, five seconds are going to pass. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. The scene restarts and you can throw a new ball. So the player can basically walk around, uh, experiment a few things. We can even try to do something uh, interesting here. I'm going to try to score it like this okay uh, and that was close okay so we can try uh, playing around with this scene so to make this a bit more beautiful we should add a few particle effects okay to make sure we're going to have some uh, interesting feedback for the player so let's work on this in the next video